Welcome back to Arizona Midday. Now to a spotlight on our community. Big Brothers Big Sisters of Central Arizona is always looking for mentors. But with tons of boys waiting in the valley right now, they need help finding Big Brothers. Here to tell us more is Jessica Whitney and Mike Siriano. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thanks so much for having us. Okay, Jessica, so tell us about Big Brothers Big Sisters and the need for male mentors. Big Brothers Big Sisters is a youth mentoring agency here in the valley. We serve about 1,500 youth every year, age 6 to 18, mm -hmm. and we match them with positive adult role models. So this is someone who can just be a friend, someone who can provide guidance, and just really hang out with them. Oh, okay, so why is mentorship so important? You know, there are tons of studies done about mentorship. We know from our national organization, Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, that youth matched with a caring adult role model actually do better than their peers in things like academic performance, avoidance of risky behavior like drugs and alcohol, and several other positive outcomes. So right now, we we have about 200 kids on our waiting list, 163 are boys. Oh, no. Can you believe it? Wow, that is a large waiting list. And yes. we need to help that out, right? Yes, so we definitely need more men. We actually just started a new campaign called Be Bold, Be Big, and we're asking men in the community to really step up be bold and become a big today. Yes, and make an impact in our community. Oh my goodness, we gotta help with that number for sure. Okay, so now Mike, tell us what it's like to be a big brother. It's it's very rewarding. It's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, when I committed to this, I was told by a number of people that had done this before me that, you know, you're gonna get as much out of it committing to be a big as the little. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely true. It's been just really fun developing. I'm still in the process of developing a relationship with my little. I've been okay. matched for about six months now. Okay. And we're building a great rapport. Uh, you know, he's coming out of his shell. He's starting to volunteer more information to me. And uh -huh. I feel like we're developing a, a real friendship. Yeah, and it takes a little bit of time, you know, for them to get comfortable. But when they do open up, oh my gosh, the impact is huge. Absolutely. Um, so what do you think is holding men back from volunteering? You know, I think uh, my opinion is that many men in the Valley feel that it takes some sort of special training, mm -hmm. maybe even a degree, uh, you know, to do this, to be a mentor to a child. It really doesn't. Uh, you know, that's a myth. I think it just takes, you know, the time commitment. You know, you want to be consistent for mm -hmm. the child. Um, you want to just be present in the moment so that when you're spending time with, with your little, you know, you want to be there for him or her. Mm -hmm. And what type of activities do you do with your little? So he's a sports nut, okay. particularly basketball. <laughs> okay. And he's taught me a lot about, well, he's, he's a nut about basketball history, too. Mm -hmm. And he's taught me a lot about the game of basketball. We love shooting hoops, uh, throwing the football around. Um, we've done a, a number of uh, activities at, you know, museums, um, Legos, the, the things, you know, creating things with our hands. Uh, he's just a lot of fun to be around. Yeah, and I think sometimes people think that you need to, you know, do activities that cost money like the games, but you can also just spend time with them at the park or, you know, the museums when they have their free activities as well, right? It's really the quality of time, uh, essentially, that you're spending with the child is, is what's really, really important. So just having a simple meal uh, with them is, it can be very rewarding. Oh, well, thank you so much for doing that in our community. So, Jessica, what are the requirements and how can someone get involved? Well, the requirements are you need to be 18 and older, up to 105. Uh, anyone can be a big brother or a big sister. Um, no DUI in the past five years. Okay. Um, able to pass a background check. Uh, the easiest way to get involved is to just go to our website, and the first step is to sign up for a volunteer information session. So these are just 40-minute info sessions. It's a live webinar with a representative from our agency that can kind of walk you through all of the different requirements and expectations and also what you can expect to gain as Mike was saying about you know just feeling that positive um, you know empowerment of volunteerism. All right. Well, I hope you guys get a lot of interest from our show and that we get a lot of big brothers coming out to step up and help out and be bold, right? Be bold. All right. Well, thank you both of you for joining us today and sharing all that information. And again, if you want to learn more, you can just go to the website there or call the number there.